Hello and welcome. In this little mini video, I'm going to see if I can measure the output from a turntable. I'm going to use two test instruments, an oscilloscope and a AC voltmeter. What I'm doing is just basically, um, here you can see my hook up here. This was actually a turntable, which was part of like a, a integrated component system. That's why this wiring was, was like this, because this actually plugs into a circuit board. And here, over here where my fingers are on the right, you can see here, that's um, these leads right here. They're coming from a power supply because this turntable is driven by 12 volts DC. Basically what I'm just doing here, if you would have a regular turntable with the, um, with basically with wires coming out of the back and phono jacks, this is basically the same, the very same thing. But I'm just taking a different approach because this unit um, never had that. So I've got an AC voltmeter hooked up now. And here's the Joe Cocker music. You can see sometimes the needle's all the way, almost going all the way up to eight, nine. So I'd venture to say this is a moving magnet type of cartridge. As far as I remember, this is uh, somewhat higher than the moving coil cartridge which I think would have been on the order of a few a very few millivolts and of course um, this is, is a lot less than a um, old ceramic cartridge which would be even a lot higher so now I've got the oscilloscope hooked up and I'm ready for more Joe Cocker and you can see he's really pounding it out I'm at two millivolts per um, division and I'm going to 5 millivolts per division. And this is even, this is 10 millivolts per division. Again, this looks like this because um, music, of course, varies with frequency and amplitude. That's why this is all basically jumbled up. Of course, the ideal way to do this test would be with a test record. And which would have a, of course, a sine wave at a certain test frequency and then you could probably get a better look at the at the actual sine wave coming out but if you just want to know okay am I getting something out of course here I just checked one of the channels but the, I think the other channel here is good too you could just hook up a AC sensitive AC voltmeter or a sensitive oscilloscope and um, take a look at what you got